All right, America, we got what we wanted. BYOB, bring your own bourbon to New Orleans. That's right, Kentucky gets passed. The Baylor Bears with an 82-70 to 70 victory, so they win the South. They're going to the Final Four. They're going to play their hated rival, their in-state rival, the Louisville Cardinals. The hype machine will be working overtime here for the next six days. It should be a blast to watch this entire thing unfold. Who knows? Kentucky's going to be a, a favorite to win, surely, but we got the matchup we wanted. Uh, tonight's game, fun to watch, really, because Kentucky is the best team in the country. They have the most talent in the country, so why would you want to miss them playing? Baylor's length actually gave the Wildcats problems for about the first four minutes, which was kind of cool, but then it sort of died down. After the first media timeout, things kind of shifted, and it just shows, you know, it's really hard. It's almost impossible to hang with the Wildcats for a full 40 minutes as they just have so much talent at so many different positions on the court. The guy on the court that I was most uh, fascinated to watch was Michael Kidd Gilchrist. He's gone from very good to great in the past month here, even though he's only a freshman. Cool tweet that I saw from Jonathan Gavoni. Not exactly sure where he's getting these numbers from, but it makes total sense that Kid Gilchrist is tops in the country at finishing in transition at 71%. That should surprise nobody. A lot of guys in college can get to the rim, but not a lot of guys can finish with consistency, whether it be in traffic or in transition. But Kid Gilchrist does that. He's great at not trying to throw down the dunk when he has to. He just lays it in when that's the, the best option. And he does it. He brings energy to both ends of the court. He gets out in transition, but he also gets back on defense, too, to make a big play the other end of the court. So again, his his uh, maturation and growth both on and off the court have been really fun to watch. It's only going to help the Wildcats as they go into the Final Four. So again, BYOB, can't wait here. The next six days will be so much fun and obviously hopefully the game will be just as exciting as well.